This is the West End, eh? Which is the West End of Edinburgh. It's a wee bit cold today, eh? More like it was uh, two days ago. It's felt like summer, eh? False sense of security sort of thing, eh? It's a nice bus, eh? <laughs> eh, a strange shape, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was, eh... I was, what do you call it? Proud! <laughs> Aye, that's it. Chuffed to bits, in fact, to be, you know, chosen, like. Well, I'm a bit of a, no to be big-headed, like, but uh, I'm a bit of a local hero, like. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised, yeah? <laughs> Didn't expect that, eh? I'll, uh, I'll keep it brief for you. A wee boy falls in the river and he oh hello <laughs> and what's the him <laughs> anyway a wee boy falls in the river he almost drowns right I jumped in and saved him ta-da <laughs> local hero I can show you it was written up in the evening news hero saves baby from near drowning well, that was me. What do you think? Mm. No bad, eh? Mm. And his mum sent me a good letter. And I got a medal. Silver. Mm. No real silver, of course, but uh, class. Mm. Yeah, class. Mm. Nice sweet boy he was. Is. Mm. Anyway. That's how I was chosen, for the relay, for the Olympic relay, the torch relay, the Olympic torch all over the country. Remember that, me and 7,999 others, <laughs> the chosen ones, you might say. Proud. How was I? Chuffed. So, eh, they send me the kit, all white with gold lettering, and uh, where I was taking my torch, A to B sort of thing. Even a wee map, you know? Everything right for the big day. My mum should have been well pleased. Over the moon, she would have been. Anyway, the day came along, right? It was the 11th of July, 2012. I got it inked on my arm, like the Olympic runners to, what's that, to, Commemorate the occasion. So, I turned up round the corner <laughs> to the road. I forgot to tell you, right? I was to run along this road. Uh, Moonfall Road. Well, out my neighbourhood, actually, but uh, I got on the right bus and uh, arrived in plenty of time and warmed it up. Well, the outriders, that's the team who ran alongside, make sure there's no trouble from anyone, and the woman who was passing the torch up. She was a really old woman. <laughs> really old. <laughs> Maybe that's how she got to carry the torch, eh? Forgetting to be really, really old. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we did the kiss. <laughs> no, not us kissing. <laughs> no, no. Just, just lighting one torch up of another, right? That's what they called it, the kiss. Anyway, as it happens, the old wife kissed me anyway. <laughs> On the cheek, luckily. Bit of whiskery. <laughs> but she was a nice old woman. Anyway. <laughs> I, turned, I turned the corner into Moonfall Road. And that is when it all changed. Everything. Forever. Do you just want to see the torch? Yeah. You can touch it if you like, just stay there. Torch, eh? Careful, I uh, keep careful, careful. I'm keeping it for a uh, well. Stay. I'm keeping it safe. Anyway, Moonfall Road, right? 
turned the corner, and boy, it was amazing. Jammed with people all along the road, and there were folk uh, playing the drums and waving their flags and shouting and singing and tables with food and stuff. It was amazing. Amazing! Well, I say that, eh? Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth, I just couldn't believe it. Hey, all the cheers and that. For me, and my torch, of course. Flash past me, time-wise, over before it started, sort of thing. And see at the end, right, after the next torch kiss, with a wee fat man who won a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games in 19-whatever, definitely no cheap kissing here, right? <laughs> see, after that, this girl, this girl comes up to me and asks me for my autograph. I'm Fiona, she says, and you're the guy that saved that wee boy, aren't you? I read about it in the evening news. I'm like, <laughs> She was, she was, well, lovely. Yeah. And we're like, we started to talk. You know, and she had this wee way of listening to you, with your head on one side, like a wee bud kind of thing. Like you were the only person in the world worth listening to. And like she really heard you. And her eyes on your face the whole time you're talking. And I'm telling her all this stuff about my leaving school and my college course and my crappy teachers and my mum. Yeah. Even about my mum. Yeah. Fiona was... She was... Is well, lovely. And we talked some more, you know, one day. And she put a number in my phone. And I says, I says, I'll, I'll text you. I'll phone. Right? And then I, I took my torch and I got on the bus and I came home. Some funny looks on that bus, I can tell you, sitting in my Olympic suit holding a shiny <laughs> torch. Eh? But this wee, this wee old man, he shook my hand, he says, Well done, son. So, I felt good, you know, really good. That was a good day all round, day. Eh? And, and we all got to keep the torch, the 8,000 chosen. Some people sold theirs on eBay. <laughs> I'm keeping mine, eh? Keep it for her, for Fiona. Anyway, I texted her, right, the very next day. Just a wee sort of good to meet you kind of thing. Do you want to meet up? Maybe go for coffee, sort of thing. Because I knew she would, I knew she'd want it. Because I knew we both kind of felt something. Something special. But anyway, nothing back. No reply. So I waited till later I phoned her. Number not recognised. Bummer. Couldn't you just leave it there? Well, could I? It's too important, wasn't it? Isn't it? So the next morning, I got on the bus. I went over to Moonfall Road just to hang about, see if she'd show up. Well, she said she lived there, right? She didn't say which number of lights, but it's not that long a road. Anyway, I went to turn the corner where I turned with my torch. No road. <laughs> no, just no moonfall road. No road at all. <laughs> Can you believe that? I thought I'd gone the wrong way. I, I, I walked all around. There is no road. No moonfall road. Uh, I asked a few people, nothing. They all looked at me as if I was daft. <laughs> anyway, you can look on Google Maps till you're in the face. There is no road. There's no moonfall road. But it's there. I walked down it with my torch and, and all the people cheering. Is it? So if I have to get on every bus in this city, I don't suppose any of you have heard of it. No. I thought no. It's worth a try though. Eh? Fiona's there. Eh? She's waiting for me. She's wondering how I have any texted or phone. She's thinking, I, I didn't. I do it. Eh? See, see when I find her. I'm going to hand over my torch to, to, to 
what's the gate to uh, so, 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 to commemorate the occasion? I felt it went quite well. Um, usually the first performance on the buses is the, the hardest one. Um, but it always helps when you have a few people just to engage with you who start to get interested in the story. Once they're interested in the story then the performance becomes a bit more enjoyable. So I think I think it went alright. I think once they realised it was a performance, then it was okay.